Yes, in this, we are going to see about the double linked registry. As the name suggests, uh, the linked registry is connected in both forward and backward direction. See, usually singly linked list, which <coughs> always points to the next node in the list. The W link list points both to its previous node as well as the next node. See, this is like this. Here we have three fields. In the previous case, single link list, we have seen only these two fields. But W link list has three fields. One is the in the middle, it will have information field. And this side, as usual, in the singly link list, how it points to the next node of the same type. It will have the memory location of the next node. Here, one more additional. In this field, it has the previous node address. So, this points to the next node as well as to the previous node. So, in a single link list, the list can be traversed in forward direction. You can move from like this, like this, like this only. But whereas in W link list, using the previous, using the Next node, you can travel like the forward direction as well as the previous, using the previous address, you can move the backward direction also. So, <coughs> W link list consists of three fields, previous, next, data, where previous is the, here, this is the address field of the previous node, next, here, address of the next node, and middle, you have the data field. The previous address field of a node contains address of its previous node. This field also referred as the, this is also referred as the backward link. The data field stores the information part of the node. So the next address field contains the address of the next node in the list. This field is also referred as the forward link. And since we have two links, forward as well as backward, we call it as a doubly linked list. So let us have, this is an example of a doubly linked list, how it is connected with each other. So this is, a, each is called as a node and each node consists of three fields. Next field and the previous field and the data field. Now if you see this, here this is the, the memory location 101, this node is created. And 102, this is created, 103, this is created. Now here the next, since this is going to be followed after this, now the address of this node is kept in the, is placed in the next uh, field of this node. Likewise, this is the next node address where it is in the memory, it is stored. So that is stored in the next field and so on. You can see that. Now in the previous node, you can see this is 102 is the previous node of this node. So that is, this address is written here, same way. This is the previous node, so that is stored here. Here, 100 is the previous node, so that is also stored here. And if you see the starting node, the previous location will be null. And at the end of the list, the next location will be made as a null, indicating the end of the list. This is the starting node and the end of the list. And this has additionally, in the single, single list, we have only head node, uh, head pointer. But here we have a tail pointer also. The head points to the starting node, first node, and the tail points to the last node. So using this also, we can traverse back and forth. The W link list has the following editing. If it is an unordered W link list, then we have separate, uh, we have to insert separately as uh, the node to be in the beginning like this, insert begin, insert and and insert middle. And same way deletion also, how if you want to delete in the first node, the last node, and then the deletion in the middle. Then searching, searching for a given node. Then reverse, since we can traverse reversely also by using the previous uh, location, we have one more uh, function called reverse traverse. And normal, this is traverse, which, have, which will be printing the uh, information in the data field in a forward direction. Then update, given the old data and the new data, you want to override the existing node data field. 
so and then destroy the whole list that is also that function is also there now let us consider the structure how you can represent it in c++ now this is the doubly linked list and previous uh, memory location that is placed here next memory location uh, next node memory location is stored here and this is the data field the above structure can be programmatically represented by the following codes struct node as usual we represent it with a structure and then we give the name as node and then it has two pointers this is previous and this is next and they are of type node because they point to the next node which is of the same type so we made it as this this is for a template because that may be whatever uh, data uh, whether a string uh, what this node what it will uh, be used to store whether it is an integer or it is string so for that we have the template we are using a general template and this data it is an integer the creation of a new list involves the following steps first you have to create the structure that is what we have done this is the creation of the structure and then creating a node which is of that type and then reading details for the node from the user for this place for the data field you have to read the data and then connect the node with the list if already the list is there you have to connect this created node with the existing link list that is what we are going to see so while insertion there are three things either insert as a first node our last node or an intermediate node in the list so what is the step first you have to create a empty new node then place the data in the data field then assign null values for both previous and next field check whether the list is empty so first you have to check whether the list is empty or not if empty then this node will be the starting node if empty then this newly created will be the first node and the only one node in the list if the list is not empty then what you have to do whether you have if you are going to insert as a first node then you have to manipulate the pointers accordingly we will see how to do that yes suppose this is the node first node we have uh, insert uh, the initially it may be pointing to null okay the head is pointing to null so you will be checking whether the head is equal to null if it is equal to null then which means there is no node at all now whatever you have created that will be the new node so how to create the node first you have to pass the here we are passing that this is a member function which you are return and to that we pass the data which is to be placed in the data field so here first we assign the we create a we declare a temp pointer which is of type node and then here using the new operator we create the temporary node then in the data field we place the data then in the previous field we make it as null and the next field also we are going to make it as null then we are checking whether head is equal to null if it is equal to null then there is no node at all so now this is going to be the node so how you have to do you have to make this to be the head as this is the first node so you have to make this as a head and then tail 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 will point to the last node now this will be the first node as well as this will be the last node so you make the pointer accordingly so head equal to temp as well as tail equal to temp so both pointers are made to point to this temp suppose it is like this that is already list is there now you are going to insert this as a first node before this so now how you are going to do that here now first you create a new node already we have created accordingly we put the data and then place both uh, to be the null pointer now we have to make this as a first node so how you can do that first you have to do any manipulation in the newly created node only so what you have to do uh, here temp here this is going to be the first node so what you have to do you have to place this head here so in temp next you make this because this is the next node so we know that in the next location the next node address will be there so the head will be the first node previously so now we write this head here 
this memory location according to this statement head temp next you write the memory location that is 100 now it is pointing this okay now you have to make manipulation ma manipulation in the previous location now you have to make because it has two pointers so in the previous location of the one which is pointed by the head you write the temp which is nothing but according to this so in head head is now pointing this in this previous location you write the location so now 500 is written here so now if you see that so what you do is according to this thing temp next this is temp and in this next you write the uh, memory location like this so now here uh, in temp next we have returned the memory location of the head then what we have to do in head previous this is the head and its previous location. Okay. so in that you have to write the step so now we have returned that. now if you see that now before this uh, previous node uh, the, this is nothing but the previous memory, uh, previous node location now we have written the previous node because this is why we are going to insert it as a first node and then here in the next location we have made that to point to this now what we have to do we have to make this as the first node by making the head to point this so now head is no more pointing this now it is pointing this so that we can do by this statement head equal to temp so now here i just modify this Yes. Now, if you see this, now head is pointing this, and then the next okay, where will you find the next uh, node at memory location 100? Where will you find the next location at 101 and so on? Likewise, previous node 101, here previous node 100, here previous node 500. Now it is inserted as the first node in the memory location, first node as the in the doubly linked list.